We've just sequenced the genomes of 82 kākāpō. That's more than halfway towards our goal to sequencing the genomes of all living kākāpō. Now, the genome is the set of all genes in an individual, so with all of the genomes, we will have a complete genetic map of an entire species, and that's something that's never been done before for any species. It will help us to tackle some of the really big issues for Kākāpō, the things that have pushed them to the brink of extinction, the things like infertility, which is a big worry of ours at the moment, disease too. It will help us to understand why some individuals are less fertile than others, why some individuals may be more susceptible to disease. It will tell us um, hopefully how old kākāpō are. There's something we don't know yet at the moment, how to actually age a kākāpō. And DNA changes over time. So if you look at the, st the change of a DNA of an individual at several different locations of, of, on the genome of an animal, you can actually work out how old it is. The reason why we're doing all of them and not just a few of them is because we manage kākāpō individually. Every kākāpō is managed different to every other kākāpō, so having that genetic information for every one will help us to refine that information. It's really exciting and um, it's attracted a bit of attention and it's a, it'll be a game changer for kākāpō. It will completely transform the conservation of the species, we hope.